Hi, this is Tim Atherton. I'm going to tell you about some of the recent work I've been doing on pneumatic liquid crystals and pattern surfaces. Rod-like molecules in a certain temperature range form a fluid mesophase called a pneumatic, which has long-range molecular order. The average orientation is described by a unit vector field, which can vary in space, so we can form an elastic theory. An arbitrary variation can be decomposed into these three linearly independent deformations, uh, called splay, twist, and bend, and with associated elastic constants k1, k2, k3, respectively. The actual configuration adopted by the liquid crystal is found by minimizing this total energy, which is tantamount to solving the associated Euler-Lagrange equations. Alas, these are generally highly nonlinear and extremely difficult to solve. Pattern surfaces, on the other hand, can help us control the alignment of the pneumatic by treating it, and experimentalists are now able to fabricate a variety of complicated patterns that locally promote different orientations. Here, for example, is a striped substrate that promotes uh, alternating planar and vertical alignment, and experimentally this is found to align the pneumatic along the length of the stripes. Presented with such a situation, two questions that theoretical physicists must answer are what is the bulk alignment, and secondly, which solutions are stable? A common approximation to do this is to assume that all of the elastic constants are equal. The Euler-Lagrange equation in this case is just Laplace's equation. Unfortunately, this simplification is useless for pattern surfaces because you don't get the observed alignment. The alignment is due to elastic anisotropy. So for a checkerboard surface, the orientation has to vary in 3D. Now remarkably, if we relax the original assumption that the elastic constants are equal uh, to the situation where just two of them are equal, we'll keep the splay and bend uh, constants equal but let the twist constant vary, the Euler-Lagrange equations remain linear and can be reduced to Laplace's equation by a linear transformation. I'm going to give you a geometric interpretation of this transformation by showing you what the pattern would look like in the new coordinates for different ratios of elastic constants k2 over k1 and uh, different azimuthal orientations. As you can see, it's an anisotropic scaling. So the results of my calculation are uh, plotted here as uh, plots of energy as a function of azimuthal alignment angle. We find that the square surface aligns the pneumatic either along the diagonals or along the edges, depending on how strong the surface is able to impose the anchoring. We have a natural multi-stable surface. Even more excitingly, if we change the squares to rectangles of modest aspect ratio, we're able to control the effective azimuthal anchoring energy promoted by the pattern surface. These surfaces offer controllable behavior based on the design parameters uh, of the pattern, which is useful for producing electro-optic devices such as displays. Moreover, we have rather extended the set of analytical static solutions for pneumatics. We hope that this will facilitate investigation of dynamics and movie bounding problems like wrinkling. Thank you for your attention.